What's up everyone? My name is Kulas and today I will be installing a UTOB flush mount motion sensor LED ceiling light. That's a mouthful. If you're interested to see how I will be doing that, stay tuned. Before we proceed, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go! So today, I will be installing this UTOB flush mount light. It's motion sensor. We'll put it in the stairs so that we don't have to turn the lights on every now and then. So I'll be opening this box with you. So it comes in this package. It comes with the screws and the connector. It also comes with the Bubble, bubble wrap, wrap, <laughs> bubble wrap, so that it doesn't break probably. So it also has a man manual and the light itself, covered in I'm not sure if this paper or cloth. Plus this one. So this is. The mechanism that you will be using to attach it to the ceiling, this one. And then, the first step to attaching this is to actually, let's read. Before installation, step one, open the casing and take off the plastic film. So it's a plastic film, not paper, from the surface of the lamp body, okay? So I was trying this earlier, it's a bit hard to take it off. So what I saw earlier was, oh, this one is easy to take off. Oh, magic, magic. And then remove the plastic film. And inside this, there are a few options. I'm not sure if you can see. There are a few options here. So. This specific lamp that I bought has different lumens, right? It ranges from 3000 to 5000 K. So 3000 is a little bit yellow, 5000 K is cool white or, 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 or white. So there's a knob there. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, so there's a knob wherein you can choose between uh, 3000 to 4000 and 5000. I will be using 5000K because most of our lights here, actually all of our lights here are 5000K, okay? And another one is the day and night mode, the one in, in red here, the day and night mode. So there are a few choices here, actually four combinations wherein if it's night mode, it only lights up using the sensor at night. So it takes into consideration the light around the area, okay? And then if it's day mode or, or, or all day mode, what it does is it just turns on. Like a normal light doesn't even use the sensor. There's also a wait time, right? So how long do you want the light to be on when there's no motion happening? So there is 180 seconds and another one is 30 seconds. So as you can see here, I will be choosing the night mode because we just want it to light up when it's night. And, and the 30 seconds one, Sex set setting. So it doesn't light up for three minutes. It's too long, okay? You also have the wiring here. So this one only has the black and the white. So apparently our, our wires have the same color. So later I will be showing you how to connect them. I also tried installing one. And what I notice is this one is this specific connector. Let me open this. This specific connector here only accepts short wirings, right? So if, if we put this here, see, there's an excess wire in here. So I have to cut it off. So I will not be using this. I will be using a cap instead and twist the wires together. Okay, so that's about it. I will be installing this. I'll be showing it to you in the video and some demo afterwards. Two of the things that you need are gloves. 
a ladder if you if it's too high like this and uh, an oldie but good screwdriver don't forget to turn off the electricity in your board so that you don't get yourself electrocuted. Okay, let's go. So the first thing we need to do is to remove this light fixture here. So this is the original light fixture. I will just be removing it. So what we need to do is to remove this whole thing first. Okay. So it's taking me a long while to use the screwdriver, so I'm using the drill. Now we need to install the mount that came with the light. So one thing, it didn't come with this screwdrivers that you can use to attach it here so I'm using the one that is existing so I'm just reusing insert the wires inside this this circle there's a circle here a hole you will now be attaching the wires Be sure to have a long nose uh, or pliers because it's easier to wrap it around so I'll start with the black one match the same color of the wire with the one that's on the silly so this one is black this one is white so I'll be matching them then Put all the wires inside. Mounted. Mounted! Oh yes! It's testing time. So give it 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I'm approaching the light right now. I'm approaching the light right now. It works! So the last thing you want to do is to attach the case. Be sure to put it to align it with the there's a lock sign here, so that's where you'll want to align it. All done! So there you go! I was able to install it and it's, it was, it's working without a problem. So let's go back and, and look back at the features and I will give you my rating in terms of how I find the product. So it says it's motion activated, so it's a check, it's working. Uh, whenever we walk in within the range of the sensor, it turns on. It also says it, it has adjustable timeout. So there are, there are only two timeouts, right? 30 and 180 seconds. We found that 180 seconds is a bit long and 30 seconds is just enough. So we put it as our setting. It also has adjustable color temperature. So it has 3000, 4000 and 5000K. So we are using 5000K and it's working really well at least on the stairs where we installed it it also says easy installation it is easy to install very easy to install and flush mount there are two modes available which is the day and night light night day and night mode so we will we are just using the night mode because we only want it on when there is no sufficient light inside it within the room okay so if i'm to give this product a rating i would give it an 8 out of 10 because uh inconsistency in terms of removing the case so it's a little bit harder to remove the case from from the the, the light itself well the one i showed you it, it was easy but the first one i opened it took me a while to to open it so that's the reason why i'm giving it an 8 out of 10 but in terms of the price at 32 dollars uh with all the features that it has 
its usability, it's still a good investment. That's about it. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and share it to your friends who might be interested in installing one of the Utob flush mount lighting. Until the next video, see you soon. Bye-bye.